This is a quick hack to turn a HP 3336B signal generator into the 3336C version. On the uh, B version of this um, particular unit, it, it doesn't have a 50 ohm output connection. And of course, that's what we require in a, uh, radio work. Everything's done at 50 ohm impedance. Um, the B version is designed mostly for uh, telecommunications work where they had a 100 ohm. 135 ohm, 124 ohm, and 600 ohm impedance um, connections. They were also uh, balanced, and for uh, uh, radio work, you want a 50 ohm un or a 50 ohm unbalanced uh, output. Um, internally, inside the generator, everything was done at 50 ohms. This box on the left here it con converts the uh, 50 ohms into the uh, four different output impedances that the unit uh, was designed for. And what we can do after we remove the uh, front panel, just take the top and the bottom screws off this uh, rail right here, should slide forward. And you have to be a ribbon cable, you have to carefully uh, remove that. Um, this BN, there'll be a BNC uh, cable. This is the 75 ohm unbalanced. We want to remove this from the uh, unit. And then uh, on the rear, there's a SMA cable. Unscrew that. This is actually your, uh, coming from this, this is your uh, 50 ohm output. In fact, there's a note on this uh, a box. It says uh, 50 ohm output box, model A and B front panel model C. All you have to do is take this cable and mount it on the front panel connector and we have our 50 ohm output. There will be uh, four screws on this the impedance conversion box. Uh, two in the top, two in the back here. Oh, there's also a little cable here, relay cable. You can uh, move that cable. You don't need that. And just pull out. On the front panel there's these little plastic things. What you want to do is uh, pop one out and then add a uh, one of these double uh, BNC connectors that you can find at various uh, ham radio swap fests. This will be our new uh, output connection. So after doing that, we would mount the remount the uh, front uh, display panel. Oh, you might, depending on the, you can actually change this cable out if you want. But what I did was I got a BNC to SMA adapter, and then uh, just add that to the 50 ohm output cable, and then run that to your. Uh, to your uh, front panel chassis mount. You'll want to add another uh, BNC off to the other side and connect up to your uh, 75 ohm connection. So you have the uh, 50 and the 75 ohm. You don't really need the 75 ohm one if you don't want to add it though. The uh, leftmost button is going to select the 50 ohm output, your new 50 ohm output. The rightmost button will select your uh, 75 ohm. Output. You do have to uh, cut a jumper wire and solder in a new uh, new wire. There's a couple of solder pads marked A, B, and C. They select the uh, model number of the particular signal generator. If you can, right now the uh, B wire is soldered in, so we'd cut the B wire and just solder in the uh, C jumper right next to it. That tells the uh, microprocessor that it's a, the C version and it will automatically correct for the uh, output voltages so the display on the DBM reading is uh, accurate. And that's uh, all you really have to do. You can uh, 